Cuban Missile Crisis was a missile scare that took place in 1962. It lasted over 13 days between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. The world ticked closer to midnight on the doomsday clock, which is a symbol that represents the likelihood of a man-made global catastrophe. Midnight was when everyone would hypothetically start nuking each other. This happened because the Soviet Union started building missile sites in Cuba, which were dangerously close to the U.S. This happened in October of 1962, when everyone was already on the edge of their seats because they were in the middle of the Cold War. President John F. Kennedy made three different plans. The first, diplomacy. They would ask honestly for the missiles to go away. The second, a blockade to stop any more weapons from going into Cuba. The third, an airstrike and invasion. Then, on October 19th, new intelligence reported that two missiles were ready for launch in Cuba. The airstrike was outvoted, since it was just too risky to attack the missiles without retaliation. The blockade was the least left room to negotiate peaceful options. On October 22nd, Khrushchev noticed that America was acting kind of sneaky. Don't think you've won. Hey Jackson, yes? I dare you to make a scene. What do you mean? I will never let go. Okay, listen, stupid, I'm gonna die. Hey mom, look at me. Ha <laughs> ha. My combo. Oh no. Do you smell that? They're coming. Be gone, dust. Go away. I'm a man of God. You're adopted. King, I found all this new land. Really? What did you name it? Newfound land. Can y'all execute him? Kennedy was scheduled to broadcast a television speech and tells Khrushchev to expect a letter a few hours before. Kennedy said that the missiles had been discovered and that they were going to block the biggest missile from entering Cuba by Soviet boats. Khrushchev decided to both protect his position and the world from another war by promising to take the missiles out of Cuba. As long as Kennedy promised to never invade Cuba and sent Kennedy a letter saying so. The letter took eight hours to arrive. On October 25th, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Anatoly de Brennan, stayed quiet, making clear what needed to happen. Since the Soviets were still denying the existence of the missiles, he needed to make the ambassador fess up saying that he would wait for a simple yes or no answer until hell froze over. At 6 o'clock p.m., Khrushchev's letter finally arrived, and Kennedy wanted to make the deal. On October 28th, it was made official. The Soviet Union would take their missiles out of Cuba, and the U.S. would not invade Cuba. We were seconds away from midnight. But thanks to the quick thinking of John F. Kennedy, the world never reached midnight. It really bombed. Oh no! Our ship!